In a year when two awakening giants pause to look back and look ahead, a year when India, that ancient culture but young nation, celebrated 50 years of independence, when China celebrated the return of Hong Kong, a Greek-born, American resident, composer-musician Yanni Chrysamalis set about on an ambitious musical enterprise. He would be the first to stage a major concert at India's Taj Mahal, the first to do so at China's Forbidden City. With him on these travels were 45 musicians, a far-reaching international cast whose talent and imagination had made important contributions to the new works he would record in India and China. Anytime? Anytime. Oh, okay. Mi nombre es Ramón Estañero, nací en Lima, Perú. From Peru, Ramón Estañero brought a sound and sensibility, gentle and optimistic. Conductor Armen Anasian is from the former Soviet Republic of Armenia. When the Bolsheviks won the revolution and toppled the Tsar, they just went around sticking their flag everywhere and uh, just basically collecting these different peoples. And, uh, and the overall plan was to make one giant Russian nation. And uh, evidently, it, that didn't work. Dawal, Maragori, Maraga, Jin Maga, Jin 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 Laga Leng, Jabuga, Gugu Yalanji. David Hudson's Didgeridoo is a connection to the long gone ancestors who first settled Australia. It wasn't until 1967 that Aboriginal people were allowed to vote in our own country. All Aboriginal people are asking in Australia is that we get. We are given recognition that we are the original people from that country and that um, we are first Australians. Mi nombre es Pedro Eustache y nací en Caracas, Venezuela, Suramérica. Pedro Eustache, his instrument and extension of his demonstrative personality is from polyglot Caracas. Venezuelan people are very, there's a word for that, versatile, if I could say, very flexible. I'm just kidding, I'm just <laughs> kidding, I'm just kidding. Violinist Karen Briggs knows city and country, raised in New York, born in the Virgin Islands. Ming Freeman. Ming Freeman, born in Taiwan, conjures acoustic sounds from electronic machines. Yanni's home is a postcard, mountains on top of beaches, in a horseshoe around a wide bay. He was born in Kalamata, five hours south of Athens. 
All Greek schoolchildren know this town. The independence movement began here two centuries ago, stirred by a people who would not be conquered. Today, his parents live just outside town in a home bought by an immensely grateful son. The relatives thought that they were nuts when they bought us the piano, to have a piano in the house, because he felt at the age of six and seven years old, even though he felt earlier, we should have done it. But uh, it was the time where the kids can learn the fastest. Piano was very expensive in Greece than in comparison with what with uh, our uh, income. But he figured out how to get a loan and how to do it. And I knew at the time that he bought the piano, he didn't have money left to go to the movies, or he even stopped going to the local cafe to have coffee. If I buy it 10 years later, it will be useless. No, n nothing, nothing can, can be done 10 years later. They have to start right now. And uh, we started at the right moment. Home was Lord Duvironos, Lord Byron Street, the center of town, two blocks from the beach. Three children altogether, and Sotiri and Felica Chrysamalis wanted George and Yanni and Anda to go to college in America. To do this, they had to sell their house. So he, in, in the middle of his 50s, he would have to go rent a home and never knew if he was going to ever have enough money again to buy a house. Um, we're talking altruism here. I mean, he did. And obviously my mother, I keep talking about my father, obviously they both were involved in the decisions. Um, both of them felt they should do what was necessary to be done in the moment in time where it was supposed to be done. That kind of love that comes in you is, it never goes away, it never dies, it never diminishes itself, it lasts forever. And that's why I talk about love in my concerts because I know, I felt it, I have it in me, it's the only constant. I'm telling him, Yanni, take care of Yanni, too. Not only music. <laughs> does, he, yeah. does he listen to you? Oh, sometimes. <laughs> you know him. <laughs> He's doing anything he likes to do. <laughs> My father would take me up for these long walks up in the Greek mountains. And during those times, he would try to teach me about life. He was always trying to teach me simplicity and appreciation for nature. He liked to say that the best things in life are available to any human being. So you see, greatness has nothing to do with success or money or possessions. <laughs> 